Hi everyone, it's Liz here. So this is part three of the tutorial and I am just going to be doing some of the um, maybe decorating for the cover here and also adding the ephemera pieces um, and tags, etc. that I'll be adding to this. I've also used the inspirational collage uh, sheets from Calico Collage and these are so fun because um, I don't know, I'm always looking for quotes in my work, um, especially when I'm doing a journal or um, journaling myself. So it's nice to have these um, little quote sheets available because they're just kind of there and, um, you know, just a really nice gorgeous design to them. So I really love this saying and I think that's what I'll be adding to the top of this um, little passport TN. And of course a doily always makes it a little extra special, so I think I'll be doing that as well. And while I was making this, um, um, I was actually thinking it would make such a cute um, happy mail or snail mail um, little traveler's notebook because I can just load it up and, you know, fill the pockets and add all these goodies to it um, to whoever I'm sending it to. So I just really thought that would be such a nice idea as well, in addition to using it, um, you know, for journal purposes or memory keeping and that sort of thing as well. Um, I will be linking below and above the other two tutorials that go with this on how I put this together in case you're just joining this third process video. Um, and I hope that this um, has given you guys some ideas on you know, how to use digitals differently, not just to make a junk journal, but there's so many things you can do with them. I truly love the varieties of um, the digitals that I get to work with and they just inspire me in their own way so uh, here I'm just folding the doily over because I think it just looks really nice to have the little tuck instead of cutting it off the end and I will probably add more glue to the back of it just to secure it a little bit more a little later and then when I saw these other little um, inspirational collages the way I was kind of cutting them up um, I thought it would just um, they look like Polaroids as well. So here's one of the tags that's in this digital kit and I'll just add some lace to it or some ribbon just to give it that little extra special touch to it. Um, I either staple it on or glue it on but sometimes I find stapling just also gives it another level to it. You know it's kind of like that mixed media part where you're adding you know fabrics and paper and of course the paper clip is a little metal so I find that that also is really nice to add to work sometimes and it's also easier to add ribbon and or um, you know fabrics to your work as well. So after adding the ribbon to this tag as you can see here I'll be um, adding some additional ephemera pieces that are also in the kit and I think I'll also be using some items from Janine's shop, which is J9 Scraps on Etsy. Now see here, if this was a Polaroid, like one of these little Instax um, smaller prints, that would look so nice on the page. So you can add your own photo to it and then journal in the back of the tag and maybe decorate a little more. But um, because of the gorgeous collaged um, images here, I find that it's just, it doesn't need a lot more and that's kind of what I love about it as well is when you're using digitals that have gorgeous images already on them, then you don't really need to add that much more to the page, especially if you're sending this as a happy meal or as a gift for someone. Um, as I said, there's so many possibilities for these cute little passport traveler's notebooks with all the pockets. So here I'm using a tag from Janine's shop. And of course you can journal in the back of that and add images to the front. Um, the pocket again fits nicely for that size. I think I just took off the bottom. Now the center pockets are a little smaller, but I do like that about it because sometimes I like to have different size of pages. And here I'm using a library card again from Janine's shop. And sorry about the glare. I didn't know how bad the sun was hitting some of the pages. So hopefully you can still see okay. Just filling out the other pocket. And of course the tag I've already added some lace to this one as well and so you can see how nicely it's coming together and as I fill it up um, I'll have just more goodies to add to it and you know send it off either as happy mail or snail mail or a swap so 
I think I'll be working maybe on a vintage one next because I get so inspired by these little projects. So if I get all vintage items, here I'm using a um, glycine envelope um, or bag from Janine's shop and I just added some of the ephemera pieces as well and I could add so much more to that. Um, so as I was saying, maybe I'll try doing a vintage style one, uh, maybe with more pockets. I'm not sure. Guys, give me some suggestions if you want me to do something similar. Um, but I might be working on a couple more of these just to, you know, to send them to friends and stuff. This one I'll probably end up making into a little tag at the end as well. So you can see I've added some of the tickets and it's just looking so cute and, um, you know, filling it up. It's just really um, so fun because I can stick with the digital, but I'm probably also going to be adding lots of other goodies to it. The more I stuff it, the thicker it'll get and it'll just be such a nice thing to send to someone. So hopefully you've enjoyed the tutorial, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below. I really appreciate it. Let me know what else you would like to see. I'm always open to suggestions as I'm always working and creating something else. And um, hope you guys uh, had fun watching me put this little passport TN pocket together. See you next time and thanks so much for stopping by.